filtration, a water treatment step used to remove turbidity, dissolved organics, odor, taste, and color. The water flows by gravity through large filters of anthracite coal, silica sand, garnet, and gravel. The floke particles are removed in these filters. The rate of filtration can be adjusted to meet water consumption needs. Filters for suspended particle removal can also be made of graded sand, granular synthetic material, screens of various materials, and fabrics. The most widely used are rapid sand filters in tanks. In these units, gravity holds the material in place and the flow is downwards. The filter is periodically cleaned by a reversal of flow and the discharge of backflushed water into a drain. Cartridge filters made of fabric, paper, or plastic material are also common and are often much smaller and cheaper and are disposable. Filters are available in several ratings depending on the size of particles to be removed. Activated carbon filters, described earlier, will also remove turbidity, but would not be recommended for that purpose only. With most of the larger particles settled out, the water now goes to the filtration process. At a rate of between 2 and 10 gallons per minute per square foot, the water is filtered through an appropriate 36 inch depth of graded sand. Anthracite coal or activated carbon may also be included in the sand to improve the filtration process, especially for the removal of organic contaminants and taste and odor problems. The filtration process removes the following types of particles, silt and clay, colloids, biological forms, and floke. Remember this information for your assignment or certification exam. There are four desirable characteristics of filter media. One, good hydraulic characteristics, permeable. Two, it does not react with substances in the water. It's inert and easy to clean. Three, hard and durable. And four, free of impurities and is insoluble in water. Evaluation of overall filtration process performance should be conducted on a routine basis at least once per day. Poor chemical treatment can often result in either early turbidity breakthrough or rapid head loss buildup. The more uniform the media, the slower head loss buildup. All the water treatment plants that use surface water are governed by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Surface Water Treatment Rules, or SWTR.